what is happening, my people? I've missed you. I've been gone for like the past three weeks from my studio, so I haven't been doing a lot of art, but I thought it'd be fun if for this video I showed you guys what I did for Christmas with my family in California and little snippets of some of my time in Guatemala. We did a really fun hike, the uh, summit of Acatenango, which is one of the like, I think it's the third tallest volcano in Guatemala, but I'll have to check that later. And then this painting behind me, which I've started working on, which hopefully I can finish before the end of January, but we shall see. So it's February 25th as I edit this video. I think I finished the painting, but I definitely didn't finish the video. So I'm super excited for the new year and for the new body of work I will be creating this year. I've got a lot of fun ideas, fresh ideas. I really want to continue putting more textiles into my work. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this very fun, very relaxed video. And thanks for coming along. And without further ado, let's go. So we started our trip back by celebrating my brother's birthday at a nice sushi restaurant. And we sang him happy birthday and had a lot of sushi. And just, I think my favorite part about this whole trip was the family time I got to have. I really miss my family, so. Happy birthday to you. Woo! I spent some time with friends, seeing some of my favorite places, reliving great old memories. Really Christmas if you didn't do last minute Christmas shopping at 7 a.m. Well, we got the peppermint mocha, so. All right, out here on my Christmas. Christmas morning. This is my present. <laughs> to myself. Yeah. Stay home. Wow, you can't see me, but off we go. I'm dead, but I'm ready. Okay. This big bucket list item we crossed off over our vacation was Acatenango, and to climb this mountain, you need a guide. And so our local guide's name was Leo. He was super cool, uh, very helpful. He climbs at your pace, which is super nice. And just reached the base camp. Is it this way or this way? It's at you. That's me? Yeah. We reached base camp in three hours and, yeah, three hours flat, which is like two hours earlier than expected. Really? No, yeah, like we, the plan wasn't to come to base camp. The plan was to like go another route, then straight to the top. Really? But he was like, dude, we're like, Wait, doing great really? timing if we ascend now you're gonna be like freezing your ass mm -hmm. off let's just go to base camp mm -hmm. um and take like a different route to the top so right now he's gonna bring us some coffee coffee and cafecito it's fucking great yeah we're right inside now. a cute little tent i'm sweating profusely so i'm cold as shit yeah sorry youtube i'm cold as uh as poo poo quick thank you to our sponsors freddie and sarah mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. We appreciate you. So according to this, total distance, five miles. Cute. Look like a, a bean. That's crazy. That's what <laughs> It's 318 and we got a little bit of coffee. This coffee is single-handedly. Saving my life. It's literally it's saving my hands like like it Yeah. Mm. Like it is a great time and then we can literally nap for like an hour. Oh yeah. And That's uh exciting. then start our final ascend and push mm -hmm. to the to the top. Mm -hmm. Um which should take us according to him like an hour and thirty. Mm -hmm. So we're at six fifteen. Six six twenty. So we're gonna leave at four forty five, oh, four thirty. Yeah. That is pretty so, long from now. It's really fantastic, so great. And then uh, <coughs> breakfast at the bottom. Oh. Uh, and then the 
about how many calories I burn when I reach the bottom. I'm I get dessert. I'm not, I'm not, I might get myself an egg my muffin from the bottom. Oh my god. Oh my god. That sounds so good. <laughs> Just disappeared. There was all these dogs on the summit that were strays, which was really cute slash sad. There were a few I would definitely love to take home. Magma. Wow, look oh, at the wow. sunrise already. That was like so worth it. Uh -huh. Can you see it through your phone? A little bit when wow. it was super bright. That was okay. The volcano erupted several times while we were up there, which was so cool to watch. And each time you could actually feel the ground shake and you could hear it rumble throughout the mountains. But this sunrise was unreal. Look at him, the cutest little nugget to ever exist. I will come back for him. Shit, all right, go. <laughs> go, spin your shit. Start having hallucinations. Pull the shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, look at this breakfast. Oh, oh yeah. He's got horns too. And the day after Akatenango, we got to go on a helicopter ride where we actually saw the volcano that we had just climbed, which was pretty cool, and give it a sense of scale. We finally got to the painting part of the video. In the month of January, I got started on my new body of work for the year. I felt really inspired to kind of change things up and add more animals back in because that's what really gave me life and joy. And I love the abstract elements with animals, so I thought that's what I would do.
hello. So I finally have gotten off the couch today. We're gonna go ahead and get started on this painting. I'm kind of at a loss, to be honest. I feel like I get to this point where like now is the time to make those decisions. And I'm like thinking about what I could do and I think I just have to get going and see what happens. Cause sometimes I feel like I wait too long for inspiration to hit me when I just need to get going. I've got all these little, the word just left me. Pom poms, that's what they are. That I'm gonna go ahead and put on here, probably kind of surrounding the mountain form that I've got going on. What I'm gonna work on right now is this corner area right here. I really want some green and texture down here. gotta go crazy with the mediums, you know? Otherwise, how will you love it if you don't use every earth supply you have in your cabinet? I just broke. Needs to be more dramatic. Alright, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna bring this kind of Monument Valley esque landscape in. And I'm gonna make it super messy and fun, and I'm very happy to do landscapes again in a painting. So let's get going. Gotta get the baby horsey. Horsey! Today I'm going to be using tape to create this little squiggly shape across the canvas so I can block out everything I want to keep. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the background squiggly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to burnish it first on my leg just so it doesn't stick fully to the canvas. I'm going to tape out the area that I want to keep. So we have everything taped out and now it is time to cut and hopefully we do not cut through the canvas like I have done on many occasions. But it's time for a check-in as we move on to the next step, uh, Apex Predator. The Mean Girls musical is on play, and we are going to use glazing medium to seal in the tape so that when I paint over it, it doesn't bleed through and it stays cool and crisp and awesome. So, let's do it. I'm going to need everyone to breathe deep and say a prayer as I paint over this and hope nothing bleeds through. Hey! Oh yeah! 
I just want you to see with me. I've never seen a more terrifying sight than this. I really hope to take held that. So this is fun. This is exciting. I'm just managing stress. I had a lot of fun thinking through what shapes I wanted to be in the background and the squiggle shape. I feel like kind of balanced out the other squiggle that is going to be the horses that's going to show through in the end. I made this really nice kind of like burnt orangey color that I'm super excited that I'm going to put in the top part here. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so I've got it all painted here on the canvas with the colors and shapes that I want behind the main focal point. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off the tape now and hope that it held. I'm a little nervous, so I'm not going to lie. And here's the final piece. I added some pom-poms all around and I really feel like they add a lot to the piece. I love the yellow ones and that big green one. I think it adds a, a feeling of movement and chaos, which is kind of what the piece is about. And like a man-made or influence. That's what I was looking for, a man-made influence on these animals. And But I feel like it does it in a way that is not as in your face. And it's a little bit playful and happier if that makes sense. So let's talk about how this piece went. Overall, I really, really, really enjoy what I did in this piece. All the different elements coming together. I love the pom-poms and the color. I feel like the movement throughout is makes me so happy. I think for the next project, I will, my head kind of doesn't fit in here with the painting, but for the next project, I will probably work on my tape technique. I really want to get better at trying to control the bleeds a little bit more and you can kind of see a little sneak peek over here. I'm going to be doing bears and I have a very exciting uh, video coming up for next month. It's going to involve a lot of glitter and gemstones, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!